A reading from the book of Sirach. When a sieve is shaken, the husks appear. So do one's faults when one speaks. As the test of what a potter molds is in the furnace, so in tribulation is the test of the just. The fruit of a tree shows the care it has had. So too does one's speech disclose the bent of one's mind. Praise no one before he speaks, for it is then that people are tested. The Word of the Lord. Teamwork makes the dream work. There's no I in team. More we, less me. It's amazing what a team can accomplish when no one cares who gets the credit. Now, these are all cheesy phrases about teamwork that you might put on the back of a t-shirt. But I think they all get at kind of a, a great point that being on a team is an incredible gift. When I was in college, I had the gift, the blessing, of being a part of an exceptional team. This is a team where in the four years I was in college, we went to the national tournament three times. Through those four years, we won almost 180 games and lost just shy of 50. This was a team of guys who was dedicated, who showed up every day and gave 100%. Guys that were always looking out for each other and just rejoicing in the success of the other. But what made this team exceptional is that they were all, or they all believed that the common goal was greater than themselves. That the most important thing was pursuing the common goal. And we would have, you'd talk to one of the pitchers. And you say, oh man, did you see how great Jason's changeup was the other day? You know, you talk to another one and you'd be saying, oh man, Harvey just had this command on the mound when he was pitching. You know, one of the middle infielders would make a diving stop up the middle, throw the guy to first base. All the other middle infielders would be just rejoicing. And later on, they'd be telling everybody else, man, did you see that great play that, that Todd made up the middle? These guys, through their words, through what they said to and about each other, really displayed the character that they had. And Sirach today is highlighting this in our reading. You know, Sirach is, and Sirach is back in about the second century BC in Jerusalem, studying the world, studying people, and then giving us some of the wisdom that he has gained. What he's sharing with us today is that people's character comes out in the words that they use. That our words truly show our character. And that team that I was a part of, the words the guys used showed the character. But I believe that now I'm part of an even greater team. An even more exceptional team. That this right here, this community, our order, is an even more exceptional team. This is a group of guys who loves, who care about each other, who are devoted to prayer and striving to come to know the Lord. A group of guys who are smart, who are brilliant, or if not brilliant, are studious and just striving to know the material so that we can share that with others. A group of guys who are disciplined, who are talented in so many different ways, who are good-natured and funny. But what really sets this team apart, what really takes it to a whole other level, is the goal that we're all in pursuit of this common goal. And that common goal is bigger than any individual. And for us, that goal is the preaching and salvation of souls. 
It is helping other people come to know Jesus. And because that goal is so great, Sirach is begging us to continue to ask some questions. To ask ourselves, how do our words display our character? Do we build each other up through our words? Or do we tear each other down? Do we rejoice in the success of our brothers and of others? Or do we tear those people down so that we ourselves look better? Do our jokes point and laugh at somebody else, whether they are around us or somewhere else? Or do our jokes truly bring joy to everybody around? Sirach here is begging us to continue to ask these questions because our goal is so important. Because the meaning behind our life, what drives this team, this group, is so important. Sirach is begging us to ask, do our words display the character that we are trying to live? And do our words display the great gift it is to be part of such an exceptional team? Yeah,